Comedy is supposed to speak truth to power. Then there is Chris Rock the coward, who used his comedy to go after a young mother and to defend King Charles the colonizer. Comedy has always been a unique, influential medium for social commentary and criticism in our society. With humor and wit, comedians hold the power to deliver critical messages, calls out powerful individuals, and push boundaries. In other words, comedy facilitates the expression of controversial viewpoints and ideas in a way that's both amusing and accessible to people of all ages and backgrounds. We all know that a comedian's first gig was as a jester in the King's Court way back when there weren't open mix or Netflix specials, a clown with humorous antics, a jester often referred to as a fool due to his appearance. While entertainment was his primary duty, he enjoyed the rare privilege of criticizing the King without fear of reprisal. Talking of clowns, in the 1990s, Chris Rock graced Vanity Fair with his face painted as a clown. That is the way the world sees him a clown. Not a thought leader using comedy to spark conversation, but just a clown. His followers are weak internet better male. Their definition of masculinity is consuming tabloids. Chris Rock describes the royal family as inventing colonialism. He purposefully ignores the role of the royal family in slavery. His silence regarding the role of the royal family in slavery as a descendant of slaves is another sign of his co-orders. He does not want to offend the right-wingers Nazis. In the medieval era, criticizing a king was a risky endeavor, which was why the jester played such an important role. He enjoyed what was known as comic leniency and freedom from restraint, making him perhaps the earliest advocate of freedom of speech. In turn, this allowed the jester to roast the king, mocking his poor policies and drawing attention to things many already knew but couldn't articulate. Even though each country has an explicit right to free speech, comedians were once more restricted in their ability to insult those in power. Weak men like Chris Rock are dangerous to people of African heritage in the Commonwealth. When it was reported that Camilla was going to wear the crown jewel Kui Noor, a symbol of British conquest, to the coronation the men, women and children in India rose up to demand reparations and the return of the cultural artifact back to India. Fearing the wrath of India, Camilla Queen of England acquiesced and bowed to India and will not wear the diamond because power only respects power, not weakness. India overtook the United Kingdom to become the world's fifth largest economy. The UK is desperate for a trade agreement with India and cannot afford to upset India. The UK economy has been falling. India has overtaken the UK as the world's fifth largest economy. Barbados waved goodbye to the Queen as head of the Commonwealth. Jamaica and several other Caribbean countries are working on moving away from King Charles as head of state. Across the world, former colonies are seeking life, liberty, and the economic freedom. Then there is Chris Rock, still seeking crumbs from the colonizer's table. Cowards like Chris Rock are a danger to all people in the Commonwealth community who are seeking the right to self-determination because he wants to undermine the voice of the marginalized people and favor the colonizer. Chris Rock has never been a builder. He has turned into a bitter man who is hurting, so as make himself the mouthpiece of right-wingers who want to say spread their message of hate. Chris has never been a competent comedian. He knows he is not among the greats, so he seeks his revenge by becoming black mouthpiece for alt-right and going after Meghan Markle, a young mother who is hated because she fell in love with a white prince who credits her as saving his life. Chris Rocks spends his time on stage whining. Chris has always been a timid soul. Chris never speaks truth to power or challenge those who create rules of injustice in society. He uses his platform to chastise black women, but has no smoke for Elon Musk using AI with algorithmic biases and other facial recognition technology. A 2019 National Institute of Standards and Technology study found false positive rates are also elevated in black or people of color. 
the Star of Africa or Cullinan one which Queen Consort, Camilla, plans to wear to the coronation is a symbol of the colonial conquest of Africa. The diamond from South Africa was taken into British possession in 1905 by the colonial government. African history teaches that British colonial powers stole lands and mines that belonged to the native people. Chris will not raise his voice against this like the men of India did, because Chris is and will forever be a clown and coward. A man not driven by values that paycheck. That money over everything mentality that is in all gang bangers and drug dealers who destroy black communities across America. Chris degrades black women while Elon is building an empire. Weird that Rock spends his comedy appeasing Elon Musk. Rock is afraid to confront white supremacy. Chris would rather appease them. What real man kisses up to a man who calls his people a hate group and he praises him? This is a man who has been defeated. A man who will never know victory or defeat. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up or one-time super chat or super thanks gift to help us continue to create. Thank you.